What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry. <laughs> back, I'm back. And welcome back. Welcome back to Life of Cherry Vlogs. Let me just start off by telling y'all it's ghetto, child. It is ghetto over here. So if y'all ready for some hot mess, then be sure to stay, to keep watching, all right? But welcome back, you guys. It's your girl, Cherry. Um, I said I would be picking up the camera this week, and this week the camera is up. I was trying to do like, you know, a cute little welcome back video, a cute little intro, and so on for it. But in the middle of me brushing my teeth, baby boy started fussing, and I'm trying to hold him and brush my teeth, and it was just a mess, okay? But long story, long story short, your girl's breath is fresh, her face is washed, okay? Baby boy has been fed, and right now he is just chilling. So, welcome back, you guys. I'm so excited to be back vlogging, um, to be back, you know, just interacting with you guys. Thank you to everyone who has been sending well wishes, congratulations, um, just all of that good stuff. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, we're back at it, okay? If you are new here, hey boo hey, my name is Cherry and this is Baby Boy. I'm gonna flip him over in a second, y'all. But he was just a little fussy, so I'm just like, you know, trying to console him. Because the last thing we need is him acting a fool on camera on his debut, you know, on screen. But um, if you are new here, hey boo hey, my name is Cherry and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I started out, let's be honest, I started out with doing content, trying to furnish my home. Then it turned into surprise, I'm pregnant. Then it turned into the struggle of my life while being pregnant. Then it turned into I'm having a butterball and now here we are. So if you're just into, interested in, you know, a girl from New York just making her way through life and sharing that content with y'all, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on your post notifications so you know the next time I post a new video. But yeah, y'all, so today is Monday. These days, I haven't been doing much of anything. Two weeks ago, I had a C-section. For a whole week, I cannot sit down. For a whole week, I cannot, I cannot do anything but take pain medication and lay in bed. I couldn't even hold the baby because Mr. Man is 10 pounds. And when you have a C-section, they tell you don't lift nothing heavier than 10 pounds. And every time I tried to pick him up, I felt a strain in my stomach. So I couldn't even pick Mr. Man up. Week two is going way better than week one. And I know week three, I'm just going to be killing it. Week three, y'all might see me back in Target and Walmart. But no, um, yeah, my recovery has been going well. <clears throat> the first week, it was just very, <clears throat> excuse me. The first week, it was just very, very hard for me to, to just wrap my head around having a baby, having a C-section, a blood transfusion, being anemic now, being on these pain medicine. Like, it was just a lot for me to wrap my head around. But this week, um, your girl's doing better. Your girl's doing better. So, on today's agenda, I don't have nothing much going on, but I do have my two-week um, checkup to check my incision from my C-section. Last week, I did have to go for a blood pressure checkup because I had high blood pressure throughout my pregnancy and I was at a very high risk of getting preeclampsia. It was a couple of days my pressure was like through the roof and I'm like, hold up now. And um, luckily and I'm grateful that it is now managed and um, the doctors aren't concerned or anything like that. But they said that you can get um, preeclampsia up to six weeks postpartum. So I still have to be mindful, but so far, so good. Um, today, I'm going to the doctor, like I mentioned, and then I'm just going to be here in the house. Aside from doing that, my mom is coming over. She's going to watch the baby while I go to the doctor. Um, Mr. Man, and yeah, I don't know. I'll be calling him Butterball sometimes, y'all, but I'll be calling him Mr. Man as well. So we got Mr. Man Butterball here, okay? But um, Mr. Man is going to stay in the house with my mom because although it is March, here in New York, it is still pretty chilly. Lately, it has been extremely windy outside, and I don't want to have him outside like that. Um, Baby Boy is now, oh, his eyes is wide open. Baby Boy is not sleeping. Baby Boy has not been outside that much, except for going to his doctor appointment and stuff. So, um, yeah, he hasn't been getting no sunlight. And Mr. Man is turn Mr. Man is getting pale out here. <laughs> He's getting pale out here in these streets. And I'm like, baby, we need for it to be um summertime so we could get you so we could get you some sun, right, Mr. Man? Mr. 
Now his eyes are, now his eyes are closed, and I guess he, you sleeping? Had your mama bed? Uh-uh. Let me, uh-uh. Let me tell y'all. Well, let me tell y'all something. I have the shadiest baby ever. I just said, hello, mama, man, you sleeping? And he dad won't squeeze his eyes real hard. His facial expressions are out of control. But yeah, I have all of his stuff laid out here on the table. This is how I bathe him. I'm not, I'm not going to use the ginger and the lemon child, okay? But this is how I bathe him. This is what you're going to put on because I still can't really bend all the way down. Let me show y'all, baby boy. Hold on. I was trying. Y'all can't see him too well. I'm going to show up. Once I put him down and stuff and I'm holding him better, y'all see Mr. Man. Hold on. Ugh. He's a big boy still. Still a big boy. Look at these legs. Mm -hmm. He only two weeks. And look how big he is. Yeah, so Mr. Man has been getting lighter and lighter because since he's come home from the hospital, he's only been outside, I think, two times. And the two times he's been outside, he has been like this. Like, we have been, we've had him bundled up. Bundled up. But, um, yeah, he done lost the sock. I'm about to bathe him and then um put him down. He just had a bottle not too long ago. So he should be like content once I finish giving him a bath and laying him down and so on. Boy, I see you. I see you looking at your mama. Had your my baby. Anyways, y'all. So yeah. I'm excited to be back to be back vlogging. Um this is basically going to be the content, child. But, yeah, your girl's back. Your girl is back. But, yeah, let's get into this wipe down from Mr. Man. Like I mentioned earlier, Baby Boy is only two weeks. Although his belly button did fall off, it hasn't closed all the way. So he cannot take a bath and be like submerged in water. So every day, this is a part of my daily routine now, is to get up, get myself situated, and then give Baby Boy a good old wipe down. Um, and please don't worry, don't be alarmed. I am not being rough with him. I am being very, very gentle. The video is just moving four times faster than I was moving in real life. So it looks like your girl is roughing baby boy up. But I am not. I'm being very gentle. Um, he does pretty well with his wipe down. I usually give him a bottle first. And then once he's calm and content, then I'll give him a wipe down. You got to make sure you get that neck. Because y'all know under baby's neck, they be having milk, drool, all type of stuff going on under there. So you have to get his neck. And if y'all can see right here, he can hold his head up, not for a long amount of time, but he can definitely hold his head up 
moving side to side and I cannot make this up baby boy rolled over the other day I'm like you really came out like a grown man like you're just doing everything so advanced and he's legit only two weeks old so yeah um I enjoy doing this with him and making him smell so fresh and so good but I can't wait until I can give him a bath because it would just be way easier for me I have his changing mat and then I have his um, towel and then I just put him on a table because I cannot fully bend down yet. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this clip of me washing and dressing baby boy. And y'all, y'all, can y'all believe it? Your girl, your girl is a mother of two. Your girl is a mother of two and Butterball is here. All right, y'all. So it's me and my boo. We just leaving the doctor and... I got some excellent, excellent news. My recovery, I went for my two week um, C-section. Um, what? Checkup. Thank you. I went for my two week C-section checkup and the doctor said everything is going so well. She said the incision looks so good that she cannot even tell where I had my C-section at. That's how good it looks. I'm like, okay, we could, we could do this again. <laughs> we could do this. No, but um, Everything went well. I am still moving a little slow, but I'm moving better today than I was yesterday and so on for it. It's good to know that my recovery is going well. So right now, my mom is in the house with Myla and the baby and me and the Wayne, we about to hit these streets. Nah, we about to, we about to run a Target. We ran out of paper towels, toilet paper, soap. Like we doing bad, bad, okay? Y'all know us, we usually do a monthly, um, Walmart haul when we just uh, stock up on everything but we haven't been able to go so we about to run the Target real quick and just get some essential items while we're there just to have in the house because we'll be going to dry our hands with and wipe our butts with like for real for real I ordered from Target online actually and three days ago my order what is something in my eye I ordered on Target online and Three days ago, my order was supposed to get delivered, but it never got delivered. So, Target ended up issuing me a full refund for everything. And now I got to go on my own to get the stuff. But yeah, so that's what's happening. I'm going to take y'all along with us to Target. It feels good. So good. The sun is shining to be outside. And um, for me to be able to go to Target, even though it's the baby whack Target, like, still, I'm happy to finally be out because for the past two weeks other than coming to my appointments I haven't been outside or doing anything and I'm happy I got great news at the doctor office as well so yeah I'll talk to y'all when we get inside or when we get to Target
red cups. These red cups are looking tacky. <laughs> Let me move them. Yes, we have been using paper plates, red cups, plastic fork spoons and everything. So we don't have to do dishes. The dishes have been a bare minimum. Right now it is legit probably two dishes in the sink. And we've been loving it. But um, as you can tell, I'm back in the house. Um, I came in. Baby was fussy. So I had to feed him. I just finished rocking him and put him down in his bassinet. So now he's sleeping. We did homework with Myla. And now Dwayne is napping. And I'm about to um, show y'all what we got from Target really quickly. And then make something to eat for Myla. So she could roll into her bedtime routine. But before I show y'all what we got from Target. How Dwayne and I have been doing it. At night, since you know, newborn babies, they kind of do their own thing they kind of have their own schedule or whatever and this seems to be a night baby okay during the day he's sleeping peacefully at night he is up partying for like four or five hours straight just eyes wide open very alert and so on for it so we have been alternating um last night i got to sleep straight through the night didn't have to deal with um baby boy at all and Dwayne was up dealing with him and so on for it and then now tonight i'm gonna have him and I'm going to deal with him when he wakes up for his bottles and things like that. And then Dwayne's going to be able to sleep straight through the night and get his sleep like that. So we have been alternating. It works out a little bit better for us right now versus how we were doing it before. When he would cry, we both was up. In the daytime, we both exhausted and drained, not getting anything done. So, yeah, that's how it's going. But let me show you all what I got from Target really quick. And then I'm going to wrap this video up. So I told you all. We needed some um, essentials. Just, this is not my regular. I'm in Target. I'm balling out. I was super happy that I was able to make it to Target and back home because I haven't really been walking so much outside like that. Um, it's been a slow process for me, but I am making progress with my recovery. And really quick, this got nothing to do with nothing. Look at my nails, y'all. My nails have been growing. They have been growing. Yeah, they got a little hangnail. I need to go to the nail salon to get them professionally done. But my nails, and they so, they so strong and durable. Like, oh my gosh. So, boom. The first thing we got from Target, and usually I buy a big bulk thing to last. But this is not, this wasn't our regular shopping trip. This is just things we needed to get us by. So, we got the four pack of tissue from Target. We have like two rolls left, and we cannot be in here with absolutely no tissue. We just can't. We officially ran out of paper towels. We have no paper towels left. So I brought this, what is it, six? Yeah, and I'm kind of close to the camera. Sorry about that, y'all. But it is what it is. I got this six roll of paper towels here that we got from Target. We got some Aquaphora for baby. Um, Devon and... If y'all don't know, I don't know, I'm going to be calling him baby boy, but his name is Divine. Um, Divine has a little bit of a diaper rash. When we took him for his appointment, the doctor was like, no big deal. Just put a little cream on it every time you change his diaper and make sure we're changing him like very frequent. So I just bought a, oh, I'm about to say, he about, he about to start up. Oh, I think he might start crying. I just brought a bigger one of these because i just had bought a little one at first so yeah we got this also just got two bars of dove y'all know i like the dove with shea the shea butter dove they didn't have it so i just got two bars of the original one and then when we go to walmart or to a different target then i'll get the one that i really like i picked up these pants for him and baby boy then he does not fit newborn he does not fit newborn at all he's a straight zero to three months so i picked up these pants for him he has a lot of onesies and a lot of shirts but not that many bottoms so it's these three colors right here i'm gonna wash them and add them to his drawer he can start wearing those i also picked up these pajamas for him these are pretzels then the second one is just stripes and then the third one is just a solid color. These are super cute and um easy when we have to take them outside or something. Just one piece zip up and down and keep it moving. And I love these new pajamas now that they have the zipper. See, when I had Myla, they didn't have these. Or maybe I wasn't looking. They have the zipper in the bottom. So when you're changing, you don't have to like undress him completely. You just take his legs out 
and then zip it up so that's pretty cool um also i got some more face wash for myself because i had ran out and i was just using a little one that i had put in my hospital bag but that one ran out as well we got some hand soap here these was only 99 cents usually i just buy a big giant hand soap but because these was only a dollar we don't have no hand soap in the bathroom no we have hand soap in the bathroom we ran out of hand soap in the kitchen i just got three one of each scent so we have um milk with honey this is my favorite one no matter what brand it is whether it's target whether whatever this is my favorite one Dwayne is sick and tired of this scent and he's like can we get different ones then i have this class okay baby boy fussing let me get him let me get him all right all right i'm coming for you all right we have baby boy here and myla she wants to say hi to the camera it's been a while since myla has been on camera let me finish this haul and then let me well let me just ask you how you feel about being a big sister good yeah you like having a baby brother yeah what's your favorite thing that you like about having a baby brother because he's so cute. Mm, he's so cute. What's something you don't like so much about having a baby brother? When he cries a lot. When he cries a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay, Mr. Man. Yeah. Myla has been doing a good job at being a big sister, but she does not mess with those poopy diapers at all. Even even the pee diapers. She's like, nope, get somebody else to put it in the garbage. I'm not doing it. But yeah. So let me finish what I was saying. Um, We got this hand soap as well. This is just classic clean and then we also got what is this aloe vera yeah we got the um aloe vera one so these was just a dollar we picked up some of those um oh y'all need to i'm i'm still being greedy out here i got a snickers but y'all nobody needs to know about that put that to the side and then the last thing i got again we didn't get too much of anything is this dapple baby bottle and dish soap so it says removes up to 50 percent more milk film from the bottles than other brands this is the soap they gave me in the hospital to clean out um my breast pumps and stuff and i really like this soap and i just went and purchased the bigger version of it so now baby boy has his own soap um for his bottles yeah that's it mr man mr man what? What? He half sleep, half up. Oh, one more thing I want to tell y'all. So, when I went to the doctor today, the girl got on the scale. And I was like, close my eyes. Like, I don't want to see. But I got on the scale. And believe it, believe it or not, the last time I was weighed was when I was pregnant. Now, when I got on the scale, according to the scale, I have lost almost 20 pounds. I said, what? And let me just tell you, during my pregnancy, I gained over 50 pounds. So, slowly but for surely, I'm coming down. Um, when I do hit my six-week mark, I do plan on um, starting to do exercise and things of that nature. Oh, and I did buy some salads. Can you get the salad out the refrigerator for me? I did buy some salads from Target as well. We have been all over the place as far as, like, cooking and the things that we've been eating. Because we've just been trying to adjust to baby boy. But um, I am going to get back to cooking soon. And I brought these two salads. These are just the Santa Fe style salads. And I really, really like these. So I just bought um, two of these. I'm going to get um, on a schedule with clean eating. When I hit my six weeks, I am going to start to work out a little bit and things like that. But it was exciting to know that I lost um, 20 pounds since giving birth to big boy. Like, that's, that's a win. Today was a good day. It was a good day. Mr. Man is fussy. My mom, she left. She said she fed him before she left. But the way he's acting, I think he's I think he's ready to eat again. So I did um put him on my breast for a little while, but I don't produce enough milk to fill him up. And even when I put him on my breast, I have to give him a bottle afterwards. So when I came home, I did put him on my breast, but I think now he's 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 ready for the bottle. He's like, "Mommy, you you already know. This is a big Look at him. This is a big this is a big man." <laughs> Hold on. But clearly you don't want that bow. <laughs> Look at this baby, y'all. He is only 2 weeks old. 
And he don't want to turn his head. He like, I don't want to see the people now. I don't want to see. I don't want to see the people right now. He cry. All right, he fussy. He fussy. He not happy. All right, y'all. But I'm so excited to be back to vlogging. Um, stay tuned and get prepared because your girl has more vlogs coming slowly but for surely i will get back into the swing of things and get back up to doing my three vlogs a week like i was doing before but right now here you go here you go until the next video drops thank y'all so much for watching this video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you are new here hey boo hey be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time i post a new video this is this is life he don't want this he keeps spitting it out He's like, you trying you try to play games with me right now. Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want, mama? All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm about to make something for my little eat for dinner. And I'm about to feed Mr. Man. Bye.